The film that actually brought me to Bombay, <clears throat> I never knew I'll say this because uh, I was not a film buff in Bombay, uh, in Calcutta. I didn't grow up on cinema. I never gone to a film festival. The only thing I understood of cinema was Mithun Chakravarti films that released when I was a kid. <laughs> and it was just disco dancer and kasam peda karne wali ki. That's all I was surrounded by as a yeah. child. So I wasn't excited about being that kind of artist. Then in 1998, I was in second year of college and uh, I don't know why, but 15 of us went to watch a film and there were there are these two theaters, they both shut down now, which are side by side in Calcutta. There's New Empire and Lighthouse. And uh, if two Hollywood films release in a week, one goes to New Empire, one goes to Lighthouse. New Empire was showing Saving Private Ryan. Lighthouse was showing the thin red line. And in the 15 of us, 14 went to watch Saving Private Ryan. I don't know why I went to watch the thin red line. And it it just changed me. I'm like, ye kya hai? America se ye nikla. Although after that, I have uh, gotten a little tired of Terence Malik and him repeating those same motifs and voiceovers in all his films. But Thin Red Line holds a very, very special place for me because somewhere uh, I consider it, and I think a lot of people do, his only proper narrative film. Hmm. Because it, it's a dramatic narrative and it has its beats. It has its three-act structure. It has its character graph, which even Tree of Life doesn't have. And within that, he's doing his thing, nice. his meditative, philosophical thing. And I didn't know that you could tell a story like this or in any other way other than the way Spielberg, the Spielbergs of America do. And that got me thinking that if I want to be a storyteller, maybe I can consider this medium. So Thin Red Line has haunted me, stayed with me. I've gone back to it uh, many times. And then I recently got to know that uh, apparently Adrian Brody was the lead in Thin Red Line. The film got greenlit by the studio because Adrian Brody said yes. They shot for two months with Adrian Brody and he's nowhere in the film. <laughs> he got His whole track got left out on the cutting table. <laughs> That's crazy, you know? To have the... Con yeah. Forget the freedom. Okay? The freedom also doesn't come without a price even in Hollywood. Yeah. Imagine the, the, the courage and the artistic... Uh, strength to be able to do that yeah that i'm an artist i'm discovering my film even a star doesn't get in the way of that mm -hmm. i'm sorry i had to leave adrian brody out because the film became a different creature on it i still haven't reached that place but i wish i do something